Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to uh, leave a comment, say thanks, leave a like. Those all really help out the channel a ton. So today's product I want to share with you is available on Amazon and their website. So there is a couple links in the description that um, will take you to their various product pages. There's even a coupon code in there that'll save you some cash. Um, Feel free to use those if you wish. But what is it? So today's product is a 4K action camera. This is kind of like those um, you know, cameras you can put on your helmet, on your bike, and it's really, really cool. So this is the box that's gonna come in once you order it, and it comes with a ton of accessories. So that's one of the nice things about this is it really has everything you need to get set up. So let's kind of go over all the accessories that you're going to get once it arrives. So first off, you're gonna get a nice thick here user manual that's gonna explain everything. It's got multiple languages in here. Um, so that's gonna go over all the details, but we're gonna go over those too. All right, so first right off the bat, you are going to get a remote with an extra little strap here. You'll put the strap on. This is great for basically if you are like, let's say snow skiing um, or water skiing or whatever. You can put this over your wrist and then it has quick access buttons here of a camera and a video cord. Um, so that way, whether you're recording footage or a camera, just boop, boop, and you're good to go. Then you are going to get the waterproof housing case itself. Now this can come off and you're going to have multiple attachments down here on the bottom, but this is the waterproof casing. You open it up and then the camera itself will slide on here. It's got a nice suction. The camera itself will just slide right on in like so. And then it's got the little buttons here and at the top to turn it on and off. So that's really nice. Now, with that said, if you wanna use a housing, you can pop this off like so, and then you can put on this one instead. And this has the little hole here so you can strap it to something else. So it includes more multiple straps. You're gonna have um, just a standard like buckle strap here. Then you're gonna have another one like that goes around. So if you wanted to strap this um, and then put on the buckle right there, it's got that type of strap. And then you've got a couple Velcro ones here. Um, so once again, you can send it through there and use that. Um, but honestly though, know, with this, it's now no longer waterproof, but it's another way to give it an attachment. Um, now I do wanna point out with waterproof wise, this camera can go up to 40 meters. It has an IP rating of 68. So 40 meters, just give you an idea that is approximately about 131 feet. So it can go pretty deep as far as recording that footage that you need. Now it's gonna include two batteries. There's already a battery in the camera and then this is the other battery. This is to help pull it out. Um, so the battery wise, they are um, two 1,350 mAh batteries. Like I said, you get two of them. If you are using 4K recording, anticipate around 90 minutes record time. Obviously, if you're recording at lower resolutions or you're taking pictures and all that, it's gonna greatly affect the battery life. Also, what's gonna affect the battery life is if you're using it more in a hot environment, a normal kind of standard temperature environment versus a cold environment. But um, yeah, two batteries, so you have if you need to switch it out or something like that, it's great, they include that. Now, you're also gonna include this little bag here that's got in it. It's gonna have some extra uh, sticky mounts, a cleaning cloth, some uh, zip ties here, and then a metal kind of tie too. So you've got a lot of more attachments there. Now, let's go over, it's got, um, oh, and then you're gonna get a USB to USB type A charging cable to plug it in. And now let's go over the various types of other attachments. So right off the bat, um, you're gonna have an attachment here for a bike. Uh, so you will put this over your handlebars and then you have these right here, which lets you adjust the camera as need. Um, you're gonna get lots of these little pieces. You can, you'll, they'll come off and you just attach them how you want to get the different angles. Um, like I said, you're gonna get more. Here's another setup that I've already put together. Uh, and then this is a uh, mount that would mount like on a tripod um, and then you can kind of set up your angle that you need to record with. Then you are going to get um, another mount here. So you can mount this on like a helmet if you want um, and then 
put this on here and this screws into the bottom. And once again, these are all pieces. You have to kind of use some of these. Uh, they don't give you every piece doesn't have one of these. Uh, so you kind of use what you need to set up. Um, but yeah, so pull that off and then this sticks on the helmet. So that way if you're out there skiing or riding uh, mountain biking or whatnot, you have that set up. You can also, as you can see, it's got the two holes here on the side. Um, so you can put a strap in there and then this comes off. It's kind of a little tight here, which is good. You want it to have be that way. Uh, but there's these little things you squeeze right here. And so you can slide off from the bay. So obviously it's not, this stays on your helmet um, and this doesn't. This can be removed if you need to. Um, and then there is another little attachment here uh, to mount on, um, which you can use. And then finally, there is this little clip here. Same thing, there is a little attachment so you can pop this off. Um, but this is like if you wanna clip it onto a piece of clothing or something like that, you do that. And then you have this frame here, which has the, or the attachments for a tripod and you can clip the camera in like so and then kind of attach it or put it on a tripod or you can do other stuff. So uh, like you have like a mic, or mic up here or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so very versatile as far as accessories go, which is one of the nice things about this kit is you get all the magical things. Like I don't use all these accessories, but you have all those options if you will. Now let's go over the camera itself um, right here. And we're gonna show you some actual footage so you get an idea of, uh, it in action um, and how well it does. But the camera itself, so you can see right here the lens, it has a 170 degree wide angle lens. It also has built in um, image stabilization. So it does have that EIS stabilization, uh, which helps with shaking and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then as far as the front, which is really nice, it has a screen here which lets you uh, quickly see. So if you got it like on a selfie stick and you're self recording, you can see the footage on this little screen right here. In addition to that, it has on the back side another screen right here, and this is a two inch touch screen. So once again, you have another screen that you can look at. Um, on the bottom here, this is where the battery goes. Uh, open that up like, like so. There's the battery you can pull out. You can see the little attachment for a uh, tripod. Then right here you have the H, um, basically you can plug this in to like hook up to an HDMI if you want to get some live footage there. Then you have your uh, USB type A connection to power it up and charge it up. And then right there is the micro SD card slot. So this takes up to 128 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. And you wanna make sure that's got the higher U rating. So that way it can capture that 4K footage. So you wanna be able to get that quick read um, and write speed. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're out there shopping for a uh, USD card. Now right here on the top is the power button um, or also the OK button. And then on the sides are the various mode buttons and the arrow buttons. So okay, so let's go over the settings real quick. Um, so right off the bat, you have your camera settings. Um, you have under the here, you have a lot. You have the 4K 60 frames per second. Now that's gonna turn off some features like the image stabilization. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Then you have your 4K 30 frames per second, your 2.7K, you have your th several options for your 1080p, then you have several options for your 720. So you have a lot of options there. And then back to the top. Um, then here you can see you got your image uh, image stabilization. You can turn on and off. Your uh, distortion correction, which you can choose to turn off separate. If you turn off this, it's going to turn off that automatically. White balance, once again. Um, you can adjust that to whether it's auto, whether it's sunny outside, cloudy, um, candle, fluorescent, you know, the, that kind of standard stuff there. Um, and as you can see, you can touch it, the touch screen, um, or you can use the mode for select and then the down arrow. I'm kind of using those so that way you can see the screen very well. Uh, you can change your exposure settings. 
Uh, you can change the way it's metering, whether it's average. Um, oops, I should have selected that. So let's go down, back down here. So um, your metering mode here, you can do average, you can do your center, you can do your spot. So just like a regular camera or a grid matrix, um, which is really nice for the way it's metering. Same thing with the sharpness. Um, you can change it to low, high, or medium. And then your video quality, same thing. Uh, it has the low, high, medium. Uh, iOS settings, so you can change that if you know exactly what you need. Uh, then it's got the timestamp if you want that on or off. If you want it to record audio, you can turn that on and off, and then you're back at the top. Now, under the settings, you can do image rotation. So if you have the camera mounted upside down on, on whatever setup, you can automatically flip that. Um, then you got your Wi-Fi. You can turn that off if you wish. Your Wi-Fi information if you need to reset your Wi-Fi. Then your light source frequency, um, if you want to tweak that. Uh, I just leave that on auto, but um, you can tweak that if you so desire. Um, it's going to kind of show you what that looked like. So you can set it up to the 50 hertz or the 60 hertz. Um, then you have your LED indicator, which is that right there, if you want that on or off. And you got how often, how quickly does it go into screensaver? How quickly does it shut down if you don't do anything? Um, your button prompt change, your language, your format of the time, and then you can set the time and set the date. You can format your SD card, the device info, factory set it back to default settings, and then we'll press that, and then you're back onto the main screen. And then you can see on the screen, it shows you all the video recording here right there it shows the mics on the sd card how much battery charge you have what video setting you're on there's another quick access to the settings and another quick access that will take you to your already recorded um, footage so that is kind of the setup of the overall front of the camera um, as you can see there's kind of a little mic speaker there there's the bottom where the battery compartment is, and then you have this front screen. Now, this is not a touch screen, just so you know, um, but it's so you can see um, what you need to see. So, and then there is a close-up of the side. So let's go ahead and um, show you some footage of this thing in action. Okay guys, so if you are in the market for um, basically going on adventuring, mountain biking, skiing, whatever, and you want to capture that footage, uh, this is a cool little action camera. Uh, like I said, if there was something I didn't cover that you have a question on, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. I do typically respond. If you thought this video was helpful, say so in the comments section. Leave the like button or hit that like button. Those really do help out the channel a ton. Um, and then be sure to check out the links in the description. Um, so you can see the current price points and maybe get a little bit of savings. So that is it. So until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.